Rawr. What is going on, everybody? Let's test out a big old house brush as a dry brush. This here is the Steam Forge Games Frost Giant Epic Encounter. It is awesome. It comes with a cool base. I added some extra details, and I'm going to go ahead and see if we can't dry brush it with a polyester house brush. This is unused, brand new. I picked this up to give it a test and specifically because I happen to sell dry brushes and paint brushes and thousands of people have been loving them and they're highly recommended by the thousands of people that are using them. So if you want the ghost dry brush set or ghost dry brushes in general, head down in the description below. But this is the largest size I currently offer and you can tell this one here is much, much bigger. So this little brush here I've used for probably a year and you can see it is holding up beautifully. The cylindrical shape really helps it uh, take a beating. Now I could easily dry brush this base with this brush, but it's going to take a little extra time, a lot of scrubbing, right? So let's just see how this guy does and maybe you want to add one of these to your collection for large projects. Say, bases this size. This is like 160 mil. It's big. <laughs> now, I imagine a lot of my subscribers are getting tired of watching me do this same dry brush over and over again on this Frost Giant army. But I'm still working on the army, so it's what it's going to be. <laughs> I'll be doing more bases in the future of different styles. Now, I am not 100% familiar on how this brush is going to work because I have not used it for this purpose, but we're going to go ahead with P3 Thrall Flesh. Normally with my ghost dry brushes, I'm just using pieces of cardboard to absorb the paint, but I have a feeling I'm going to need extra paint to fill in all this polyester hair to get the dry brush effect. Now, right off the bat, I think we're going to have a little bit of trouble applying it to the brush. So I guess I'll just pour some out onto my cardboard in a blob. And then we'll go ahead and dab it. This feels like I just wasted a lot of paint. I don't think I'm going to need that much. Maybe I'll try to scoop it back in. All right, so we'll try to load it up. A lot of times on the first load, I'll do multiple so I'm kind of dipping in, trying to make sure all these hairs are getting paint. And I'm dabbing it off a little bit, and then I'm wiping it in the same spot on the paper towel. This is really to load the brush. Brush should be loaded. And then now, go over to another part, and now you'll start to wipe away some of the paint to get a dry brush effect. This first color can be a little heavier because we'll go over it with our frostbite color. And let's see, here's the moment of truth. Let's see what we got. So, <laughs> might be a little wet. It's really, really wet. But it doesn't seem like it's, let's see on the back of the hand here. That's interesting. Let me try folding the paper towel and pushing on it. I don't know if it's the polyester. Okay, so it's super, it's applying a lot of paint. <laughs> All right. Uh, but it's very, very fast. Like, okay. I can't deny how fast that was. Much, much faster than using the brush size I offer. And in this stage wow i did not need anywhere near that much paint uh in this stage you could probably just let this dry because it applied a, quite a bit more paint than a normal dry brush would and then i could just go back with the ghost dry brush and then hit it with this lighter color when i need to be a little more careful and i really want to make the finishing touches but we'll see i'm going to set this aside for just one second and let's see 
how we do. I'm not even going to apply more paint. I got the, uh, let me move the paint here. I got the Kraken Eater Giant I'm working on. I'm trying to go for somewhat of a shark theme. But let's see if we can't just, it's kind of hard to see. Okay, so now that the paint is more or less off the brush, it's working pretty well as a dry brush. So maybe I just got a little antsy and didn't quite apply enough, or I guess didn't scrub off enough paint. So yeah, I mean, it, I think this is probably worth right off the bat picking up. One of these from your local, can't remember where I got this. It might've been Home Depot. For sure they have them at Home Depot, Lowe's, any place that sells house paint. I'm thinking I probably picked it up at Lowe's when I was picking up some new Rust-Oleum colors, or I picked it up at maybe a Home Depot. I don't know. <laughs> and it was a couple bucks. It's pretty close in price. I'm already losing hairs here. Uh, it's close in price to the brush I offer. Obviously much bigger. You're going to not have much control over when you're working on details later on in the paint stages. But honestly, I'm going to say it's probably a win for very large surfaces and especially things like bases or terrain where maybe you don't have to be overly precise. I don't care right now if I get paint on his feet on this model. He's too big for my camera setup, I know, but I just didn't want to waste all that extra paint I had. I've already lost a few hairs, but that's normal in a dry brush. Even the ghost dry brush can lose some hairs. But the important thing is it's just losing, hopefully, a few of the loose ones from the creation of the brush. And then it will kind of just, the nice ones will stay in. All right, so we'll bring him back. Let me, and I'll do that after. I was going to say, let me go ahead and clean up my uh, green paint there but you don't want to see that so let's just move on to the blue this is exactly how I would do it with the ghost dry brush I would not rinse this brush yet I would immediately just go into the next color so because it turned out we did not need nearly that much paint uh, and I don't, I don't care if I run out of these colors Ooh, it's mixing there's still green paint in the brush so I'm getting a weird color here. Um, I don't care if I run out of these two colors at the end of my project, but I would like to be able to finish all my giants before that happens because I don't want to buy them again. <laughs> uh, let's see what we got here. I'm just doing the fast, loose uh, dry brush that I was hoping this would achieve. And... It's significantly different. Let me see. Put that down here for a second. This is what it looks like with these two colors, dry brush with my dry brushes, the ghost dry brush, and then some thin down burnt umber ink is applied to the rocks to make it look, you know, like it has maybe some shadows or some dark spots. But I'm not getting that blue gray at all. I'm still basically just looking like black and thrall flesh. So let's see if we can't add some more of this blue. But you can tell there's a significant difference if I'd done it the other way. And I think that's just because, you know, there's a lot more control in being able to do the slow build. Let's get a new paper towel. Somehow that one still had maybe too much thrall flesh paint. So let's see if we can't really squeeze it out interesting so even with that big squeeze almost nothing came out so 
to me that says there's not a lot of thrall flesh paint in this brush. All right, shook it back up to try to get more paint up here on the little lip, just so I can avoid dumping it on the... Okay, there we go, that's more baby blue. Uh, it's still mixing in with the green, so even though I was having a hard time seeing any of that green in the brush, it's definitely mixing. It's noticeable to me. I don't know if it's noticeable on camera because I obviously have no idea how to film anything. <laughs> Please like and subscribe. <laughs> uh, okay. This is a little, a little more on track. With the, I'm doing frost bases. So anything I don't like, I can obviously cover with like snow and stuff. So, all right. Um, we're not even in the same realm as what the other ones look like. It's, let me see if I can maybe adjust the white balance just a touch here. Let's see. Uh, see, it's, pr I mean, just the rock here, which is just dry brush, there's no ink on the edge of this rock, versus this rock, there to there. I mean, that's a pretty big, significant difference, which I'm not super thrilled with. Like, you, hopefully you can tell. So, there you have it. I think if you did all your bases with no models on them from the beginning, a nice tool. I think I definitely uh, achieved a quick, quick layer with that first green. Way more than I normally would have. But it was very, very fast. And you could definitely get a lot of use out of something like this. This is a one-inch uh, house paint brush. The... Uh, if you're familiar with Bob Ross, he always has the two inch big brush and he beats the devil out of it, right? So this is just the one inch. And uh, I think there's some value in it, especially for that first coat. If you really had a bunch of terrain to bang out, uh, you could definitely get a lot of use out of this. There's a lot of funkiness with the hairs. Like look how many hairs here are just absolutely not the same length or nothing. So I think you're going to get some weird splitting. But, I don't know. We'll give it... What do you think? Out of 10? Speed? Probably a 10. Uh, similarity to what I've already done with these exact same colors. I don't know, maybe a 5. I think if I kept working with this light blue, I could eventually get it there. But just because I don't want to reprime this and do it over again... I think what I'll do is let it fully dry, switch over to the ghost dry brush, and then finish up dry brushing with the light blue. And, you know, that would give me a little more control, and I can make sure everything looks the way I want it to look. And then I might go back in and do these rocks a little different, even though the other giants don't have that. But the mega giants, you know, they can get a little extra on their base. So there you have it. If you're looking for something fast and cheap, loose fast dirty and loose <laughs> go ahead and pick yourself up one of these one inch dry brushes uh there is links in the description below of course to the ghost dry brushes i'm selling them on ebay i have sets i have just the dry brushes plus i have the whole set you could pick up selling out like hotcakes i have tons of them though so don't worry about them never going out of stock and if you want to knock out some quick rough dry brushing Pick yourself up one of these at your local store. Thank you very much. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.